We're gonna read The Butterscotch Bandit, but we're also gonna show you my cat, Nancy. <laughs> this is Nancy. She's cute. We love her. Anyway, we're gonna read a book. It's called The Butterscotch Bandit. This is what the cover looks like. All right. Okay. Delicious, Minnie Mouse said, taking a tiny taste of a butterscotch brownie. She had just baked a whole batch of the tasty treats for Daisy Duck's party. The gang will gobble these up, she said to herself as she wrapped the brownies in foil and tucked the package into a pretty pink shopping bag. When Minnie arrived at Daisy's house, the other guests were already there. Daisy was taking a platter of food out of the refrigerator while Donald Duck looked on hungrily. Goofy, who was wearing bandages on both thumbs, was carefully petting Mickey Mouse's dog, Pluto. I was trying to hang up some pictures, Goofy explained to Minnie. I sort of missed twice. Gosh, I'm glad you're here, Minnie, Mickey said with a bashful smile. Would you like to dance? I'd love to, Minnie said as she dropped her shopping bag on the kitchen table and followed Mickey to the living room. Minnie was still dancing with Mickey half an hour later when she remembered the treats she had bought. The butterscotch brownies, she exclaimed. I brought some for the party, but I forgot to unpack them. Well, what are you waiting for? Asked Goofy, smacking his lips hungrily. Let's eat. Minnie ran to the kitchen, but when she got there, she had a big surprise. The shopping bag was tipped over on the table and there was nothing inside but some crumbs and foil. Minnie looked all around the kitchen, but the butterscotch brownies were gone. Minnie went back into the living room. My brownies are missing, she cried, waving the empty bag in the air. Uh-oh. Who ate the brownies? I haven't seen them, said Daisy, Donald, and Mickey, one after the other, as they shook their heads. Goofy shrugged. I wish I had, he said sadly, but I haven't. Well, someone must have taken them, said Minnie. They were in this bag when I got here. One of you must have sneaked out to the kitchen and gobbled every last bite. It wasn't me, Minnie, Daisy said. I don't even like butterscotch. I guess that proves you're not the thief, Daisy, Minnie said. So who is? It wasn't me, Mickey said quickly. You and I have been dancing nonstop since you got here, Minnie. I haven't even been near the kitchen. That's true, Minnie said. You couldn't be the butterscotch brownie thief. But if it wasn't you and it wasn't Daisy, then who was it? Goofy gulped nervously. I sneaked out to the kitchen once when no one was looking, he admitted. I even ate a few things, but I didn't touch that bag. Minnie looked at him thoughtfully. Goofy liked to eat, but did that mean he was guilty? Then she realized something. You couldn't have done it, Goofy, she said. How could you unwrap the foil package with both of your thumbs bandaged? Goofy held up his thumbs, looking relieved. Gosh, I couldn't, he agreed. Donald was looking more and more anxious. When Minnie turned to him, he squawked. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Daisy gave him a suspicious stare. Are you sure, Donald? 
Donald no nodded vigorously. I, um, might have smelled them, he said. I even might have unwrapped them to take a peek, but I absolutely, positively did not taste your brownies. Not even one crumb. Minnie wasn't sure whether or not to believe him. Donald liked to eat almost as much as Goofy did, and he had unwrapped the package. Was he telling the whole truth? What do you think? Minnie decided to trust Donald. After all, she didn't have any proof that he was the thief. Come on, she said, let's go comb the kitchen for clues. The five friends went out to the kitchen and started their search. Daisy kept peeking nervously at the back door. If the thief wasn't any of us, she whispered to Minnie, does that mean that a stranger sneaked in? and snitched your snacks? That would be scary. Hey, Minnie, called Mickey. I found some footprints. He pointed at the floor by the table. Come on, Minnie cried, let's track down our thief. She and her friends followed the trail of footprints across the kitchen, up the stairs, and into Daisy's bedroom. There sat a guilty-looking dog with butterscotch crumbs all over his mouth. Oh, Pluto, scolded Mickey. Pluto let out a groan and gave his owner a woeful look. Minnie just smiled. Don't be too tough on him, Mickey, she said, giving Pluto a pat on the head. It looks as if he's already paying for his crime with quite the tummy ache. Poor doggy. He ate all the brownies. The end.